it was an instilled fear that was very real. When Bedford High School senior Kristen Caldwell heard about the allegations that a group of freshmen and sophomore boys were taking pictures of female classmates without their knowledge, it was unthinkable. I personally felt like there are definitely girls that could have been victims of this that were too scared to speak up. In an email sent to parents last night, the principal said those photos were being turned into trading cards and shared at the school. Today, the superintendent providing some clarification. This is currently an allegation. We have not seen any photos. Superintendent Mike Fournier says they have not identified any victims, perpetrators, or received any of the alleged photos. He explains what would happen if those photos come to light. We take a look at the photos uh, once they're received, and if those photos meet a certain criteria, we share them with the Bedford Police. If they don't, we have internal procedures that we follow. Bedford Police telling us they are prepared to investigate if that happens. The superintendent saying he wants families to know they're being as transparent as possible. Because we don't have answers, they feel like they don't have answers, and that can feel like a cover-up, but um, it certainly isn't. But for some students, the situation is unsettling. Even if this individual situation didn't happen, there's still others like it, and like I think that the school is just not handling it as well as they should. Now, while the superintendent and police department both say they have not seen or received any, the, uh, any of those alleged photos, I have spoken with a father who believes his daughter was unknowingly photographed coming